<clears throat> Hello, this is Lukash, and in this short demo I would like to show you the telemetry PR. So the first thing to mention, this PR introduces two new dependencies. These are small libraries, don't have any sub-dependencies, and, and they basically provide uh, client libraries. We uh, will, will, will the patch will use Prometheus and StatchD. Those are the two uh, protocols uh, you can you can use to gather telemetry data. So the first thing to uh, do is to configure telemetry. By default, it comes configured uh, or as you know turned off, of course. So this is opt in. You have two. Uh, you, you have four options. Off, it's obvious. Rails, that is basically mode for debugging telemetry itself. It sends all the telemetry data into Rails log, a logger. And so the most useful ones are Prometheus and StatsD. So the first thing Prometheus is, is the Prometheus client library. If you set type to Prometheus, Prometheus has no additional configuration and it exports by default uh, via slash metrics uh, HTTP endpoint. There is no authorization or authentication. It's your job to you know secure this. You know, by in production we deploy uh, via a passenger, so it would be uh, required to have that configured properly. One important thing to understand is that Prometheus client library currently doesn't support multi-process uh, web servers. The thing is, if you hit a slash metrics, it will always give you one of the random f n workers uh, the data, and this can be quite problem if you have uh, if you have counters, for example. Those counters should be monotonously increasing, and you you know with that you know in that mode it will randomly give you you know numbers and this can you know fail uh, when you gather the data and try to work with that there are a couple of experimental branches in Prometheus client li library and hopefully soon next year we'll see Prometheus client library to support multi-process uh, Ruby web servers but currently that's not the way you want to work in development mode that should work as long as you work uh, with the web brick, I think that should work. It doesn't spawn any processes, so you can use Prometheus safely. For production, though, I think until this is fixed, the recommended way is to use StatsD. That's the second client library we have. So you set a type to StatsD here. <clears throat> now the prefix is just a common prefix for all the metrics. It's good, you know, uh, idea to have that separated from other things. So it's fm underscore rails that's what i propose we'll may maybe settle up uh, on a different prefix um, now we will skip rails level that's for a rails uh, type and the stats d type is configured under this stats d tree and the only two required options are host that it includes uh, domain name or ip address and uh, port this is udp be aware, and it's not, not recommended to use DNS. It's, it's much better to use IP. And the protocol is one of the three protocols that the Statsd Instrument Client Library uh, supports. Will we are fine with the original Statsd as we don't need any extensions. Uh, t form and telemetry doesn't use any extensions. So the first step is to understand what telemetry actually provides and there's a rake task telemetry.rake which includes two uh, tasks actually uh, one is telemetry um, metrics which gives you a list of all the metrics you can gather you can you know scrape from uh, from an instance as you can see it, it all starts with fm underscore rails and it has uh, most of these has labels, you know, I think all of these has labels. Uh, type can be either counter, histogram, or a gauge, and they have descriptions. This is coming from uh, uh, from a configuration file, definition file, 
it's actually initializer five telemetry metrics and here we have you know uh, all the uh, metrics defined I'm thinking of turning this into a DSL for the first version of my PR I, I, I think I'll keep in this easy uh, easy format not sure if it, it if this is worth turning into DSL, not sure. You basically give it a symbol, that is the metric name, a description, and then a list of labels that are supported. Most of these are control and action, but you can have a label like HTTP code or whatever, you know, or you, you can just skip labels, you just if that's some kind of a global counter that just counts number of errors occur occurred in the whole application that could be just uh, no labels uh, data uh, there's a group of a uh, group of um, uh, metrics which are uh, which are not not defined in this file uh, that is Ruby uh, these are uh, Ruby GC metrics. These are in a separate file because uh, it's a little bit, you know, um, uh, defined. Um, in in a in a there's a you know each loop, so it it doesn't fit onto the uh, telemetry uh, you know uh, initializer. So it's a separate file. This is pretty special. It's you know. In, a, in its own file, but telemetry matrix is the one that will will be often editing. So uh, adding a new metric is actually going here, defining a new block or line, whatever this en ends up uh, to be, and then you know adding your telemetry, you know, uh, line in uh, in the code you want to measure. Now. Next step is actually, you know, to run this. So we have Stasty on um, Stasty configured. So usually you need to have a st what's called Stasty aggregator. So it's a process that you know gathers the UDP packets and provides them to your monitoring framework. Now, for the purposes of my demo, I'm using a Prometheus, which is running down below which is, you know, uh, scraping the data. And I'm um, using Prometheus Stats the Exporter that basically listens to UDP packets and exports them uh, in uh, via HTTP endpoint. So, you know, from the multiple processes, from the multiple workers, it all goes here and it is, you know, aggregates the data and the Prometheus goes to Stats the Exporter every one minute or 10 seconds depending on your configuration and scrapes the data and then you can work with that now Stasty exporter I neither Prometheus or Stasty exporter needs any uh, kind of additional configuration other than configuring port and you know basically ports but if you provide a mapping file to Stasty exporter you have a much better experience because the values were will be correctly mapped so you can easily work with them and I have another Rask as part of my uh, PR, which is telemetry Prometheus Stats D, which will generate which generates you a mapping, a YAML, actually YAML file. And for each individual metric, it will uh, give you, you know, a regular expression actually, or that's come some kind of a match mm, format that will break this into uh, labels. So for example, FM Rails HTTP DB duration dot something dot something maps to the very same name in under Prometheus, but it sets control line action correctly, and also send it also um, defines you buckets because this is actually a histogram, and you can I didn't show show this, but you can define buckets uh, for each individual metrics, or you can leave it undefined and it will use the defaults so these are the defaults I'm you know uh, proposing and this is useful for measuring times so you can tell how many of the 
you know, calculating average is not the best thing, but calculating average from being able to calculate average from individual buckets is something you you, you want. It's a nice uh, thing to have. As you can see, it has a list of all the possible you know metrics here. So this has been generated, and then you can load it up in using this um, configuration option into Statistics Exporter, and it will export uh, appropriately. So here I have um, I have my form and development instance running. It has a statsd um, uh, telemetry turned on. Uh, at this endpoint, this is the test the exporter running. Uh, so slash metrics, uh, it's basically giving you all the metrics uh, which has been you know gathered, aggregated, and basically if you turn on Prometheus, um, Prometheus uh, type in Foreman, you would you could go actually here slash metrics. It, w it won't work because it's turned off right now. But again, warning: this will only work appropriately when you have just one, you know, uh, process. So instead, we have a separate, separate um, process that gathers and aggregates all the data. And now here's Prometheus itself gathering the data from this endpoint. So, and we we already see the measurements, uh, all the, all the. Um, metrics here. So example here, this is actually, uh, what's that? That's total request duration. It's average value ex actually, average value. I'm not a Prometheus expert, so I'll, I'll just create a few of these queries. <coughs> this is, so for example, average total duration that's a simple average very simple and you can see it's it can be mm, break broke into individual labels action and controller so this is this is time for let's say this one well they, they look all the same it's just development instance oh here was interesting here's interesting that's a index notification recipient recipient controller so we can some we can see some uh, some changes there these are milliseconds by the way we export these uh, as milliseconds so that's it's a number and the last ex I think example is you know Ruby GC allocated objects and this is just an uh, increasing counter so it's good to you know it's not useful to draw that onto graph. Much better is to actually draw a rate. So we have a rate, you know, uh, of five minute window rate of allocated objects. As you can see, again, this is my development instance. It was idling for some time, but you know, on on our server with some load, you you'd see much more meaningful things. And again, this is this can be. Uh, uh, broke down into uh, individual actions and controllers, which is very useful. Or you can do a total number if you want. You know, the primitives is a very useful query language. Now, if you keep in mind that all the times, all the all the uh, histograms are also uh, exported as individual buckets so you have you know you have uh, counts for individual buckets and you can easily calculate uh, those you know from you can calculate average for each individual bucket here you need to turn this into a query but it's pretty much easy but uh, so here you can tell you know how many requests were f you know faster than one second let's say one second or 200 milliseconds and you can calculate the average value from there. So as you can see, it's pretty powerful, and uh, it's easy to configure. You just you know turn it on, and then you of course need to set up the infrastructure, <coughs> which can be challenging if you don't know Prometheus or don't know any you know 
other solutions. So, but if you have an existing uh, monitoring solution, chances are that uh, you'll find either Prometheus exporter or, or exporter or importer, whatever this is called, or you can have a StatchD again agent or whatever uh, that will uh, aggregate the data and turn this into useful data. I also successfully tested a stat site, a stat site which is a small daemon written in C which also aggregates a stats D data and has some exporters and it can export to Grafana and, and those uh, monitoring frameworks. So mm, hopefully, hopefully you'll like my PR. Uh,